The Kenyan coast has an abundance of coconuts that have always been part of the local diet. I think coconut will be absolutely fantastic in my dish. So I've just come to meet Elizabeth. Elizabeth has a lovely cassava plantation. We're just in the background here. We're just waiting for her husband, Jackson, to come back from work. Uh, and he's going to take me out into his plantation and, and, and walk me through the whole lot. And while we're waiting for him to come by, we are going to make some fresh coconut milk. Now, what you need is coconuts that look like this. That's what the inside of a coconut looks like. They pull all the green husk off and leave this like this. Uh. Elizabeth, you're quite a scary looking woman with that panga in your hand. No, like no, that. no. Oh, you can see the flesh is really thick. That's what you need when you're making fresh coconut milk. These are good looking coconuts. I like your coconuts, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Mbuzi. Mbuzi is the word for goat in Swahili, but it is clearly also a word for a coconut grater. Oh. I'll sit over here, Elizabeth. Uh, there you go. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to I'm feeling, I'm feeling in a very compromised situation. I'm going to sit over here. So you can see you just rub the coconut on that protrusion. Mm. I'm a little bit uncomfortable right now. It's okay, Moja Kinesha. And that's really what you're looking for. All, all the coconut flesh has been grated away. That's what it ends up being. Really nicely grated coconut. All right, my turn. I'm about the most inflexible creature God has ever created. Leave you. Mm. Don't say anything. I know what you're thinking. It's not that funny. Right, you know what, Elizabeth? Yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. Here, you, you carry on. I'm making a bloody mess of this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, Sasa, kutoka hapa. Okay. The first press is always the thickest stuff. And sometimes in cooking, you'll keep the four stages, as many as you want to do, in different batches. And you can cook with them in different batches. And that is pretty much all there is to it, really. We've got two lovely presses of our coconut milk, some really lovely thick stuff here, some lighter stuff here. And these will be fantastic if we do manage to get ourselves an octopus. Elizabeth? Mm -hmm. Right, oh, it's all right, I got messy hands as well. 